Hello and welcome back everyone to this video series on SAP Build Process Automation Training. In the last session, we talked about how to add a condition to our SAP Build Process. Utilize the condition to automatically approve our business process. In this video series session, we are going to talk about how to add a decision table to automatically determine the agent. So who is an agent? An agent is nothing but an actor or a business user who is responsible to approve your business process. So my requirement here is to create a decision table. A decision table is like a if condition with multiple set of conditions inside. So there will be a input and there will be an output. So based on the input, the output will be determined. So in SAP, we have different types of order types. So I would want to send an auto approval email to different participants. If my order type is standard order, it should go to Anubhav. But if my order type is a inquiry, then it should go to Minakshi. She is my colleague. So a auto approval email should be sent to the corresponding agent to the corresponding manager depending on the type of the order so in this case order type is my input and my output is the email id of the person to whom the auto approval email will go to be able to achieve this we go back to sap build process automation cockpit process builder and create a decision so we can come back and you can see I have added a agent determination decision step. What I've done in this, I have created a input and output. So my input will be of type sales order header type and my output is of type string which returns an email ID. If you look at the rule, my rule for determining this is a decision agent table which I can also import from an Excel file. And there I check if my sales order type is inquiry, send an email to install.abap at gmail.com. That's Minakshi's email ID. If the order type is OR, standard order, or a uh, quotation, then send it to Anubhav. Beautiful. So let us go back and check this up, test this business process with again our trigger point, which is Postman. So I come back to the Postman tool now. And I will send a request with order type OR with order number 1212. Ideally, in this case, the approval should be sent, auto approval should be sent to Anubhav because order type is OR. So I will go ahead and trigger this. And then I expect an email in Anubhav's mailbox with order number 12 and 12. So let me head over back to the email box of Anubhav. Do I get an auto approval email with order number 1212? And here I am. You can see I have received an auto approval with order number 1212 in my personal mailbox with my email ID. Fantastic. Now we can go back again and re trigger the same flow for order type inquiry. Trigger the business process and let us see what happens so based on the conclusion of the decision table a email should be sent automatically to my colleague Minakshi's email box so I will head over back to my Google account for Minakshi and here you can see we have received for order 1212 again for the auto approval email in the Minakshi's email box that's her account you can see so this is the advantage when it comes to working with SAP build process automation decision table. It helps you to take decisions based on a decision table. Hence, evaluating the rule and based on the rule condition, the outcome will be determined. Now, this can be used for different different uh, use cases. For example, determining a employee tier or determining a credit limit of a customer depending on the past sales or maybe determining a public holiday 
based on the date so there can be many use cases for building a decision table in sap build process automation if you enjoyed this session please like share and subscribe this video and for more interesting videos like this kindly subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon you can share this video series link which you can find in the description of this video with your fellow colleagues in the whatsapp group that will help them as well to learn sap build process automation concepts once again thank you for your time and i'll see you in the next episode till then happy coding and goodbye